do you see Plato's cave as connecting in any way to Christianity? You've got a group of prisoners who have been maintained in a cave for many years and they're shackled in such a way that they can only look straight forward. And all they can see in front of them are shadows on a wall. The shadows are cast by objects that are moving behind their heads uh, and a fire that's behind uh, the objects so that the shadows are projected from those objects. And since the prisoners can't turn their heads, all they can see is what is on the, the wall in front of them. And then one of them gets released and he's taken up to the outer world where the sun is blazing in its strength. And of course he's blinded initially, but then he gets used to it and realizes that there's a much bigger world up there. Now, it seems to me that what Plato is getting at, amongst other things, is the idea that people in general are sitting in a cave, though they don't realize it, and they see shadows on the wall that are realities of a certain kind, but there's a transcendent world that's much brighter. There's a much greater reality outside the cave. Now, that to me is a brilliant parable of the cave, the dark cave in which materialism, naturalism have put people because it's based on a denial of the transcendent. And it's very interesting in the case of C.S. Lewis, because when he began to realize that there might be something more, he was almost blinded and disorientated by it. But yet in the end, he came to see the sun. And of course, he projects the whole Plato cave story into one of his Narnia books and does it absolutely brilliantly. So you can use that to discuss different levels of reality. And of course, leadership comes into it because after all, it was written in Plato's Republic uh, where he was talking about how government should work. And leadership is leading people from the darkness to the light. And one of the problems was that when the man who was released from the cave went back down into the cave to bring the good news to the people down there, of course, he was blinded by the darkness now, and they thought he was a complete fool. And Plato very interestingly mentions the possibility that they would kill him. And that's exactly what happened to Jesus, that he claimed to be from the world above. Mm. And he told a parable that relates to Plato's cave. It's not dependent on it, of course, but relates to it that when he came down and tried to bring his light, the light of the world into that cave, they rejected him and they crucified him. So there are all kinds of levels at which that can be used. The wonderful thing about the parable is, as you say, that there are so many different interpretations of it, it's interesting. <laughs> <laughs>